my YouTube channel, I am joined with Liam, Connor, Austin, Young King, Cookson, and today we're doing a video which absolutely hit top bins with the views last year. We're doing our AFL season predictions. Let's have a little, uh, little reminder of how we went last year. North Melbourne is and the best AFL list really I've cool. ever seen in my time watching AFL this year. I genuinely think this table finish probably the later on Collingwood Magpies. I'm going to go Jaden Stevenson from Collingwood. Don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> you can say no. it, but I, I just don't like it. Alright, the first thing me and the boys are going to predict is who will win the Brownlow medal for 2019. Well, well done, thanks for having me back on the channel. <laughs> 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 Sort out our differences here and let me back on. Uh, Brownlow, I think. We'll go Josh Kelly. I'll go with, as long as Carlton win four or more games, which is a big if, Paddy Cripps wins a Brownlow. Cripps tattoo coming in top two. You managed to come third off a two game season. If we win six, he was brilliant. What about the talk of him playing forward this year? What's... Yeah, well, then he'll win the goal. Take a peek. <laughs> I've gone with a real thug. I like thugs and I like people who are, are a bit hard around it. So I've gone for Andrew Gaff. Ah! I reckon Andrew Gaff's going to bounce back. He got wrongly done last year and I reckon justice will be served. He got again. wrongly done? Yeah, he got ripped off, I reckon. Only one or two weeks. It was a, a, a little jab. Yeah, where do we go from here? Yeah, I'm king. Sean Higgins is going to. He had a good year last year, made his first All Australian. And he'll uh, come and. Be the captain of the Australian side. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. It will end up like genuinely. North Melbourne bias aside, he's going to win the round. Though. Fair enough. There you go. Yeah, right. The second thing we're going to predict this season is the Colmanian medal. Reiterate Coulson's uh, words from last year. I think, I think North are going to have a pretty solid year and uh, not much stopping Benny Brown. I reckon. Big boner. Big, nah. big boner. I think he had a kid. Over the oh, he doesn't miss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The extra responsibility, a bit extra coin with the uh, the government. <laughs> oh, I think yeah, you know, with the rule changes, your best one-on-one -on -one players um, are the ones that are going to be kicking all the goals. I reckon the hundred goal a year player might be back this season. Oh, uh, sorry, how's that going to happen? <laughs> no, because it's all more one-on-one -on -one footy, and when you think hundred goal a year players, you think Lance Buddy Franklin. So I'll back in Bubba. There's no bias here, but there's a little bit of. Going with that heart over the head. I reckon big Tommy McDonald is going to have a massive year down forward. He missed half the season last year and kicked over 60 goals or something. So big Tebow McDonald. Did he really? Yeah. yeah. Half the year. But yeah, he missed like the first. And kicked 60. Boy, go boys, gonna go bananas. The century's not oh, back, but the double century is. So uh, yeah, I've done the quick maths and you'd be ruined on it. <laughs> He might have missed the first five games and he might have kicked 50. But <laughs> <laughs> he missed one game. Uh, the boys from footy played against Jared Waite in basketball. The other night, so he looked like Shrek. Really? Because <laughs> he's got a hunchback. He oh. does have a hunchback. Has he put on a few games or not today? Fiona! <laughs> um, I don't know. Who else plays for? <laughs> um, I'll go Sean Atley. <laughs> no, 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 like just, I don't know, I reckon it'll be a small player this year. He's very quick, he'll have the whole year at half forward. He's a, he's a Stephen Milne with more pace and a bit taller. Good for Milne, you're kidding me. Alright, now we are going to predict the rising star. McDonald got this right last year, so can I back it up? I don't know any of the players. <laughs> Go on, Setterfield. Setterfield. Yeah, set a few good choice. It's the second favourite. Thanks, <laughs> mate. I thought we were not the best choice. Good choice. <laughs> second favourite with the boogies to win the Rising Star, but the favourite started at eleven dollars. It's coming to about two dollars fifty. Suddenly, yeah, actually, actually two dollars so fifty. Uh, two dollars eighty. For the car one. Yeah, for the Rising Star. <laughs> and um, to be honest, like I'm going with him for the Rising Star, but does that mean I can still tip him for the Brownlow as well? Because I think I want to change my choice from Crips to Walshie. That's how good he is. I reckon he's overrated. I reckon you're a hack. There's no debating that. I reckon <laughs> um, Sam Walsh isn't going to be able to keep up with the rigors of AFL and he'll do an injury. But <laughs> what the brain? What you give, you're giving him a physical effort? <laughs> Something that will quite feel right. Did you say the rigors? <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've seen his medicals. Um, but I reckon Bailey Smith. Oh, the oh I thought you were that. Is he the one that's never. Had a drop of alcohol. Yeah. Oh, so you're backing in a cow. Oh, so <laughs> backing in a cow to win the rising no, star. No, I'm backing in someone who's committed. So, Baz Smith. 
It's all up to you now, mate. I'm gonna go a bit wild, get a bit crazy, and say the young fella from Geelong, Brian Myers, the right to start. His forward pressure was elite. <laughs> I went to primary school with him. Didn't speak a lick to him, but there you go. That's, he's got that cooks and bloody will get the blood. <laughs> what have you two been? What have you two been doing? If it's not on, it's not on. Sure, sure. Nah, nah, nah. Grind. Like genuinely, it, it sounds out there, but we're gonna get a bit wacky, you know. <laughs> now nah, we'll change up, we're going to like Luke Davies Uniac, same thing as last year. Well, there you go. delete the big words here, Grind Boys. Grind Davies Uniac. I'm having a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> what has got into you? <laughs> Wooden spoon, fellas. Jesus, it has to be unanimous, doesn't it? Yeah, you'd say... You'd say no, of course. It has to be gold coast. But you're saying that when we were sitting in this position last year, I think I agreed with you when you said North Melbourne. Had the worst list you you ever to be a sample. You Colin? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, anyway, <laughs> Gold Coast uh, went in the wooden spoon. I, I want to go somewhere other than Gold Coast, but I reckon it's dumb. So you three going Gold Coast? Yeah. I'm going cold, genuinely. Uh, you can, you know. Sam Walsh is going to die. Yeah. No, he's, huh? he's, he's riggers. <laughs> he's going to get the riggers wrong. <laughs> Carlton win the wooden spoon. The green shoots are spread. They will be oh, they will be just as bad, if not worse, than last year. Your top four predictions. Richmond top. I think West Coast will still West Coast will win every game at home. I put West Coast second. I think Adelaide are gonna come back up. Collingwood. Collingwood wants to be handy. There you go. Oh. Bum bum! <laughs> right, I miss someone. <laughs> I'll go um, the Tiggies first. I think Tom Lynch, Jack Gray are the stat. We'll go West Coast second, then I'll go Collingwood, then the D's. Bow, bow, that's wrong. I'm going to go West Coast, Richmond second, Adelaide third, and Collingwood fourth. There's always a jumper though, isn't there? There's always a surprise <laughs> top four pick. Fourth? It'll be a bit different. Start with four. Understand television, this boy. Get the attention. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll go fourth, the Giants. I'll go third, the Ruse. I'll go second, the Ruse, the Bombers. And I'll go first, the Cats. I, I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that as well. I hate that But I bet you that'll be the one that gets closest. I was nearly going to say Richmond, but I changed at the last second of Geelong. Sab's going to kick 200 kiss. Yeah, 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 Sab looks good. Grind my <laughs> Just watch, you laugh, you laugh now, you cry later. <laughs> Alright, we're going to predict a surprise all Australian. Can I say grind my <laughs> A man who's come back from retirement this year. He's had a go at boxing. Oh, oh mummy. He's, he's had a go at a few sausage. Yeah. And big mummy. <laughs> sausage! Uh, surprise all Australian. It's not a surprise that this man isn't all Australian, but perhaps this year people have written him off. Playing in a forward pocket, Gary Allen will kick 50 plus goals and he'll, he'll find his way into a forward pocket. Is that a surprise? Yeah, that counts as a surprise. I don't yeah. think many people would have it. He is in a forward pocket. Um, I'm going to go with the high flying, I don't know what position he plays, Wait, but not. Irving Mosquito. <laughs> Isaac Heaney. That's not a surprise. That's not a surprise. He's expected. He is a very good player. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's, he's, he's not on a. Has he ever made it? That's not. He's, has, has he, he ever made it? Yeah, he hasn't made it, but he's, 20, he's like reaching his prime this year. Absolutely. Half full back. That's not as. No, it's not as. I'll be shot. I'll be shot. He's a kid. He's a kid. You're kidding. They said that doesn't count. Pick another one. You can have. You can have. You can. You know. You can say it if you want. You better pick another one. Then. I can't force words out in your mouth, but if I could, I'd force you to say that's a coward's pick. I'll go, I'll have a bit of balls. Bailey Fritch. That's better. There you go. Well, that's not going to happen, but it's <laughs> more of a surprise if it does. <laughs> Jamie McMillan. He had 40 touches the other day. He was the, the, worst, worst, he was the worst player in AFL. I hate to play. How did he get a game in AFL? Yeah. No, but seriously, Jamie McMillan. Oh, he probably won't make Australia, but I already have a really good <laughs> All right, boys and girls, this is where it gets interesting. The boys are going to make a big call and put a punishment on the line. If the big call doesn't come true, they must do the punishment. This means when we watch the video back and react to it at the end of the year, we have a few spicy little things to follow up on. Let's go. If Carlton don't win more games than the Gold Coast, I'll burn my Carlton games in the ash. You don't win more games than the Gold Coast? Yeah, I'll eat the action. Good mouthful. If Clayton Oliver does not get into the All-Australian, I will eat the world's hottest chilli pepper. How 
Tracking in the fridge is toughest. We're gonna get the guy who's tracking me. It's us. We're gonna get the boy from Here it is. I got it. They're like, damn it. Oh my god. Silly. If North Melbourne don't make the top four, I'll go skydiving. I'm holding it to it. I'm shit scared of bites as well, so. Is that top four or top eight? Top four. I like that. I like top it. Top eight. Be courageous. So hopefully when we come back at the end of the year, we have a few little special surprises for you. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Yeah, I want to thank the boys for coming in and being in the video with me. I want to thank you guys for all the support, and I'll see you very, very soon.